These are the words God wants to deliver to your ears at this moment. God is saying, My dearest heart, in the business of this world, I ask you to slow down a little whilst stopping to pay attention to the signs that are all around you. And as you love me truly, do not go away in the middle without receiving these words completely in your spirit today. My child, you are receiving signals, signs and commands to walk on the righteous path. You have been told several times in the past to examine your choices and companionships. Therefore, now is the time to get the fruits of your desires. It's the final time to be out of that darkness, to be out of those uncertainties, because now you will reap what you have sown until now. I never caused you pain. I do not control your choices either. I gave you free will and you are free to make good or bad choices. But each and every kind of choice has both the pleasant one as well as the worst consequences associated with it. My dearest hurt, this is the reason I ask you frequently to surrender all your worries, your problems and the thoughts that are troubling you because living being worried all the time will never let you experience my wonderful miracles. It will push you to stay in the darkness and never get out of it. Remember, my heart, when you turn your worries into worship, I turn your battles into blessings. I declare that you can succeed. I made you for a reason. Your life is not an accident. I already made you a champion. The key is to recognize your true inner self that I created. My child, new positive energies flow into your life as a result of the daily inner work you do each day. Keep in mind that all work you do to improve and grow internally will pay off externally. Continue to move forward with this deep commitment to master your inner self, to master your choices and your free will and many opportunities will be revealed to you. My dearest heart, the road ahead is very bright. Continue to walk in the direction of light and let me declare that you are out. Out of the darkness, out of the trap of the discouraging thoughts, 
out of the influence of the enemy's temptations out of the burdens and out of the reach of every dark force because you are mine i love you confess it with your mouth and write it with your hand i am out of darkness if you believe that you are getting out of these dark phases welcome back to lord health ministry for once again today god has called each of us to gather together just to tell us that our righteous choices and a godly lifestyle are helping us to come out of the darkness dear child of god you are indeed coming out god is bringing you out we serve a god that picks us up when we are down and brings us out when we are in if you are in trouble he is bringing you out if you are in a depression he is bringing you out if you are in a despair he is bringing you out if you are in sin he is bringing you out no matter what situation you are facing he is bringing you out it is god's mercy that we are getting out of the darkness with each passing day even if it seems that you are getting into the darkness let me assure you that as long as your ways are righteous and your choices are according to the will of god you will eventually reach the light despite of walking all around through darkness remember this always dear child of god god wants to bring you out so he can bring you up so he can bring you over so he can bring you into his good acceptable and perfect will he desires to provide us with the good better and best things he wants to bring us out of every sickness every debt and every sin into his kingdom so it is a responsibility that we must cooperate with god to pursue his desires because it is also good for our interests the righteous choices and the determination to walk on his path are what indicates a dedication toward god and his word a person who truly respects and obeys the sovereign lord could never go against him because a faithful child can never betray his faithful father so what you are waiting for sing the songs of praise worship him dedicate your life to him give him the love he is worthy of be grateful for his plans choose to feed your spirit with god's words and pray as much as you can so for now come and join me let us pray together mighty heavenly father this is your child standing in prayer now and wants to offer my thankfulness for your great love god i pray that you would give me a spirit of prayer god i give up everything that comes to frustrate me or bring me down i pray that you will grant me a heart that will trust you blindly and obey all your commands 
you have plans only to prosper me and never to harm me god i pray help me to obey your instructions and do everything that you require of me guide me to get out of the darkness and into the light of your holy kingdom grant me the grace to keep moving forward and keep believing in you in jesus glorious name i pray this amen